Them. Yeah, we're back at it again for uh, episode twelve. Strong, mostly Number petty. 12, hey? Yeah, it's actually that's pretty right. good statistically. I think that's pretty decent. Yeah, probably hit. How's your show? Probably hit Everest. How'd you do? Oh, great! Yeah, I, 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 won. I can't believe <laughs> Jeffers smoked you that. I bad. didn't know we were talking about it first. But yeah, no, I, I, uh, I won. I beat everybody, yeah. and I. Yeah. That's awesome. <laughs> yeah. um, Fuck! If you lose this weekend, this comes out that I just made fun of you. Forget Jeffers oh, smoking man. you. Well, Jeffers <laughs> is, go- is going to beat me. Like, I, like, I, like I've come to terms with that, but. Um, yeah, welcome, welcome back to the show in episode twelve, and uh, this will be uh, post my first competition of the year. Yeah, but it's in a weird, we're in a weird time traveling state now, where I've both competed and not competed at the same time. Yeah. It's, it's so, crazy. Yeah, you look great for a guy who just competed. Thanks. I feel like I feel yeah. like shit still. <laughs> uh, do you guys like everyone remembers their first show? Stupid question. How did you guys feel after your first show? Um, well, my my mom's head was getting beaten off a car. Right, so there was <laughs> some mixed feelings about my first so, show. so adrenaline was high for like morning at, not not same day because adrenaline's still there. Morning after, dog shit. Well, mine was bad, but because we also had to drive home from Saskatoon the next day, that sucks. Yeah. So that's always been kind of the thing is that like for my for my first several shows, like I did Saskatoon, Regina, Thunder Bay, and then I think I did one in Manitoba after that. So not only I was really used to not only competing, but to doing a long drive home immediately afterward. Yeah, which is like, I mean, it's not like it's a secret that that's that's way worse. That's, like, that's, that's worse. Way, that's worse than the competing. Really, like yeah. you sit there and you, your lower back is just like lit up, and your glutes start to hurt, and just your knees and everything. It's just like, but I remember the, actually after the actual competition. I mean, like it was like a novice show, right? So it wasn't like it felt heavy at the time, but it wasn't like exceedingly heavy. And I think that it was pretty manageable but the first real show that i did which was prairie strongest man i remember being really crushed after that one yeah. was, especially because i i really uh i blew it on the stones but man did i try hard on that one and i was it was i was fucking fried the next day yeah. really really fried how do you feel my first show uh was which o- was it first 07 show? or 08 gimli oh yeah those were good shows i heard good shows i have yeah. a sweet picture of me doing the log that magnus for magnuson made it's that got was, his that name in that magazine front. right yeah, 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 that yeah. was in powerlifting was there USA. A deadlift there that you would have done. I see videos of, of a deadlift gimli where there's a bunch of girls sitting on it. Yeah, yeah, and it's because they're all in bikinis and the guys are just dropping the deadlift and the tits are just bouncing. <laughs> yeah. And I'm like, this I is think strong, that was, man. Uh, <laughs> I won't name uh, any former uh, strongman organizers in this province, but I think that was a special. Makes sense. Yeah. <laughs> Makes sense. Yeah. Um, but. Uh, <laughs> like after playing football for so long, you think you know what it feels like to wake up sore the next day. Mm-hmm. And my first strongman show trumped like combined 17 years of pain <laughs> in football. It, it felt like a car accident. Yeah. Um, there was the log clean and press. I remember we had to, like the stones, there were four different stones. And not only did you have to like put it on something, you had to walk with them. Right. So it it's kind of like a Zerker carry. Yeah, yeah. Zercher, Zerker. I've never said it properly. Zercher. I get, I get Zercher. Zercher. Yeah. Um, and it was like 10 feet, 8 feet, 6 feet, 4 feet, or, or whatever it was. So lifting the stone, I'm bad enough at stones. I've got short arms. Mm-hmm. Uh, like I, don't, I can't really like encompass it. So it's a struggle for me. And then you got to walk with it too. So your back's getting lit up trying to stay upright. Right. Uh, the next morning was just hell. I'm like, I don't, I don't know. <laughs> like, <this sucks. laughs> is this worth it? Like, is this even yeah. fun anymore? Uh, yeah. That's how I used to feel after wrestling. Like, we used to do tours for wrestling where we would do 30 shows in 30 days. And, that's so oh, tough. Shit. and it was crazy. Yeah, it was. It was It was a lot. It was, And I wish that they would have planned it differently where there would be like a break here and there, but it wasn't. Yeah. It was just you kept going. Every night. And after a while, you kind of started like – it's almost like developing a callus where you just like you just don't notice it that much anymore. Like you just like – you kind of always feel like shit. So you, you live in soreness. Yeah. 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 But man, those – but the, it, as far as wrestling went – but man, the the car rides those would fucking kick my ass, especially yeah. when the, but all of a sudden we'd be doing like because we would it's like thirty shows across Canada, right? So the, the drives were never were never super long, but then you'd all of a sudden you get hit with one where it's like seven hours to somewhere in BC or whatever. Yeah, and all of a sudden it's like, hey, we've just finished wrestling, we have to drive seven hours to BC, and I'm I'm one of the young guys who so have to sit in the back. 
Yeah. And it was just like, oh, it was brutal. It was, those were w- way worse than the wrestling matches themselves. Tyler's in the middle with his thighs pinched. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Glad, he's, glad he's only 240 pounds. Yeah. Yeah. Eventually, I started to kind of be able to throw my weight around a little bit. And I, I think I might have mentioned this before, but I used to be like, I'd start bringing two like chest coolers full of food that I would leave in the ring trailer. And like, I'd like, they, I'd make the, the young guys bring it to me, that's and like good. I would, yeah, like that's, that's like that's, that's a rite of passage, though. You yeah, earn exactly. the right to yeah, do that. Yeah, eventually, I, I changed it up a little bit. Yeah, uh, you mentioned something about your first show, and this is for anyone who might be thinking about strongman or who's very very new to strongman. Um, powerlifting's similar, but not not totally the same. Um, willing to travel for shows because mm-hmm. all the good guys. Uh, when we used to do Winkler and Kyle and Dallas and Rob and Ben would all come up and then turn around and drive home the next day. Right. Yeah. And like we've we've driven up to Duberville and you get there, you sleep, you compete, you sleep, you drive home. Right. And that that was like and that's a long, well, I think it was like a thirteen hour drive. Yeah, it's like you go drive. to Thunder Bay and then you just scoot up north. Forever, not, it feels not like to make it like a dick measuring competition, but me and Dom drove to Texas to compete. I remember that. Yeah, I remember that. that. And we drove. We drove to BC. Wait, we, we did. That was awesome. Actually, we I did, was super excited for you guys. Yeah, we did BC and Texas in like the span of like a month. Yeah, because we were just fired up, and we were just like two young guys where it was just like, yeah, why would we go on a trip like this? You know what I mean? Like it was just like a fun idea at the time, and um, but it's it. Not everybody. I, I don't think everybody gets the same joy out of those trips you know what i mean like or yeah. maybe maybe they just haven't done it like i don't know like it's mm-hmm. just like i enjoyed it yeah, yeah. Like, a, like 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 when we so like when we set up our shows here like we're just not really seeing the out of province guys where well, i the felt one like shows up at every time uh colin right yeah, yeah yeah he yeah, comes yeah, yeah, out yeah. religiously and supports our shows but we don't but we don't see a lot of like regina guys coming over and stuff and there's and there's so much going on there yeah. that i'm not like yeah. holding that against them but for me it was like i liked going out and doing at least one other show out of province just because i like to get out of the city once exactly. in a while you know yeah. what i mean like i just but it's you know, it's not it's not the same for everybody, I guess. But but the thing is, if, if you're getting into it with the intent of being good, you got to get out of your own sandbox. For sure. You have to know who else is out there. For well, sure. you're flying out for your show. Yes. Or you flew out. I, I did. I did fly out. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Yeah. How was your flight? Uh, well, I hopefully uh, I'll be finding out. Mile High Club? No, wait. I do know already that either I was or wasn't canceled due to the WestJet strike. So we're going to yeah. find that out. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> are you going to drive or are you just not going to compete? If, no, if, I w- if WestJet. Okay, so the the flight there is fine because I'm with a different company on the flight there, and then on the way back is with WestJet, so I will find that out. But worst case scenario, Dan drove, so he'll be driving back. Oh, he's driving. Okay. So if I need to, I can hop back in with him. What's the drive? 16, 18 hours. I think that he he mapped it out at like twelve hours. Where to is Saint it? Paul. St. Paul, Alberta. Oh, yes. Yeah. Okay. So I fly to Edmonton, and then one of the I'm hopping in with one of the guys to go to okay to uh, St. Paul because his dad's coming out to watch, right? Is that correct? Why he's I don't driving? Think so I think he's just going by himself, but he's beating his buddy part way or something like that. Oh, okay. Um. And the fires are another thing too. Yeah, we're crazy. Not, up there right yeah, now. like I'm, a, I'm a little concerned about Fort Mac in Canada Day. Yeah, I don't know how that's gonna. I'm sure they. I'm sure they have a backup plan, but I mean, it's it's hopefully that's not needed. But uh, it'll be interesting to compete for sure outside with all that smoke. You're and flying stuff. for that one too. Yeah, we're gonna do it. We're gonna me and Dan and Gian are gonna fly to Edmonton and then we'll drive to Fort Mac from there, which will be uh, another very hard show, but good one too. A lot of the similar guys. No Quebec guys, yeah. But that's uh, a qualifier for Canada's. Yeah, no, for no CSM. Yeah, okay. No Quebec guys, but yeah. more Western guys. Like yeah. that's the one that everyone's got to do if they want to go to CSM, right? So yeah. Be a, so BC will be out there, and yeah, like Sean Dan, Hayes Dan from BC, for that one? and uh, it's so they're actually doing this differently this year than they've done before, where it's always been done as part of like the ones that you went to with Dom say it was done as part of the Canada Day celebration, right? In Regina, yeah. Yeah. yeah so it was done as a Those very are so fun, and they're awesome, yeah. and I and amazing. You know, I'm I'm not I. I I'm sure that format will be great too, but I really, really like the Canada Day for uh, in Regina, so I'm a little disappointed. But great location, yeah, great and there's like, there'd be like a thousand people watching, and it was just yeah. like, so. Now this year they're doing the 105 Canadas there, yeah. The okay. So that'll there. effectively kill that entire crowd. No, I'm kidding. But, <laughs> but they, but they uh, no, but they um, they they always got something going on there, which is great. But the the window that they have to do it was like two hours to do. Western Canada's strongest man, right? So it's like a big show, and they had to really run it efficiently and quickly. So what they're doing this year now that they have like this open time frame is they're doing it like they've always done Easterns, which is the first day is open, 
and then the second you have to qualify for the second day. Cool. Oh, I like which that. Which is interesting. Yeah, it's fun. Yeah. It's a, it'll give more guys a chance to like. I, I did always like the idea that westerns was sort of like rarefied air a little bit, where you had to be invited to go. Yeah. Um, and it felt like you accomplished something just by being invited to be there. But I also think it's a really neat idea to get more guys that experience and give more guys the chance to do it. And yeah. it doesn't need to be some like club that only some guys are in. You know what I mean? Like yeah. if, if 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 like let's say like Dan, if he shows up and just has an awesome day, he can be he can get to the finals of of Western Canada Strongest Man when he was. Not even on the radar the day before. Yeah. You know what yeah. I mean? So, And that happens. Happened yeah. to me last year. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Uh, another question. This is just like my own curiosity. I've only ever done outdoor shows. Have you ever done an indoor? I've oh. been at indoor, but I've never competed Teddy at Teddy Bob's, one. baby. Best indoor show ever done. Yeah. Man, I don't... <laughs> Nationals. Uh, the first cast and that... Not, yeah, it was cast yes. and Nationals was yes. indoors. Yes, it was. It, in they, had it, they had it in metal. I've done a, a couple shows in metal. Okay. No, no, it wasn't in metal. Oh, yeah, yeah. Because metal had was. that huge building back then. Yeah. Do you have a yeah. preference, or do you notice a big difference? Um, I didn't. I didn't notice a difference, like good or bad. I like, I like the atmosphere with the crowd. I think a little better inside because it's just like it's louder. It's louder, and I think that everyone's whether or not they're trying to be. There's just more distractions outside, right? So they're like, oh, look, look how nice it is, and yeah. whatever you know what I mean. So it's a little more intention, like a little more uh, sorry attention on the on the the. The going is on, I think. Yeah. But I, I do like outdoors too because it just adds another element to it that's challenging. Like when you're when you're doing the log, you have to look up at a clear blue sky rather than a, so, a ceiling. Way and off. Yeah, it makes it it's, yeah. it makes it challenging for people. And I and also I just like that's kind of what I like about strongman too is that it's like a, a summertime event. You know what I mean? Like it yeah. makes it makes you think of summertime when you totally. think about it. So, um, just do a big Christmas show. Well, they I I thought about doing something. Okay, like they've. We talk about doing a winter show every an, year. An outdoor winter about. show because they they used they used outdoor to have those. Winter. Yeah, they used to have Jeez. ones like that that were really kind of cool. Yeah, Igloo building. Yeah. Ice block area. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But if you can find a way to make it like a, sort of an events. interesting outdoor event, like that, that would be that would be neat. Field think. stones, Hot, ice blocks. Yeah. <laughs> Hot fire poutine making. You know, you know, into that. <laughs> you know, you know what I was gonna say too. It was funny with the like the thing where you can get somebody coming up and you don't expect it. and That's what happened to me. Uh, the whole show last year, Brad, who's a fucking great MC, like I love Amazing. Bus is just the best MC, I think. I'd say next to me is probably the best. MC. Yeah, I would agree with that. Yeah. <laughs> he's uh the whole time he's just like he's like, Wow, like I like I, I don't know what to say. Like I didn't expect this. I would never would like I never would have picked you to be the top three and blah blah blah. Like I don't mean that you know, whatever. And just like I was like, Yeah, you know. And then so afterwards I went over to my dad and my dad's like, Man, how many times is that guy gonna tell us that you suck? <laughs> 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 and I was like, oh, I don't know. Um yeah, Brad's a great MC though. Yeah, he is. He's yeah. a he's a top notch guy. And Tyler does Tyler Harnett does it with him too. And they do they. It's okay. A, that was the they were probably the first one that I saw besides pro shows where there was two of them at the same time. And I was like, damn, that really kind of fills the air nicely. And it puts yeah. less stress on the one guy to have to be constantly. It's hard talking, being a one man. You know show. what I mean? Like, like you're, you yeah. have nothing to bounce off of, and you're just constantly having to talk about what you're seeing like directly in front of you. And yeah. speaking of that, who's MCing Tolstoy? Me. Makes sense. Yeah. And if you want to jump in, you're more than welcome to, too. Yeah, I'm not good on the mic. Uh, I'm amazed I'm doing this. Yeah, we'll talk about it after. I say too many inappropriate things. <laughs> yeah. I, I, to be in gotta, public. We can edit this shit. You got you to gotta, you gotta put on your, your performance. I, I basically just rip off Brad when I'm doing it. Like, I just yeah. like talk yeah. the same way that he does when his. Yeah. But. It's probably my business partner unless we go to the dinners. <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> oh, shit. What, what would this, you said something after the. After the uh, thing. The indoor outdoor. Oh yeah, the indoor outdoor thing. Yeah. So like no I, an outdoor winter show would be kinda cool. Because I, I remember watching a show like that that All movie did events back in on the day. Lake. Yeah, they did like farmers carries like on like packed down snow and shit. And I was like, well maybe not that. But like it's it was really cool though to Tacky see. Tacky on your uh, garbage mitts. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> an outdoor show would be fun, I think. Um just heat the handles of the farmers between events <laughs> of the torch. Like the, we do it in winter. At, at, at the farm. Like yeah, well, at the well even at my place, if we pull the farms outside, I pull my torch, quickly torch the really? handles, and then we go. <laughs> Amazing. Yeah. That would be pretty cool, actually. Yeah. Um, you ever done a bad weather show? Yes. I did one in Will in Williston last year. Or a couple of years. No, sorry. Before, right after COVID, whatever that was. And uh, Cool what? Yeah, some, something. Uh, we we were there for 10 hours that day. It was it was, it was insane. What, Deloli yeah. there with you too, right? Deloli we did the yeah. year before. He oh, wasn't there that one. It was just me and my poor, my girlfriend at the time, who sat there, and God bless her, she sat through the whole fucking thing. And watch me compete, you know, literally five minutes of the ten hours that we were there because it's five events. <laughs> yeah, and uh, it was it was it was poorly planned and not in a way that I would necessarily blame them. It was just like you know these mistakes happen. Like there was too many events where it was one person at a time, and it was like a big weight class show. Um, and there was too many events where like they they miss like this is where we're going to be really beyond the ball with is they miscalculated the how hard the Hercules hold was because mm. it was not hard. So some of these girls and guys were getting like two minutes, yeah, two minutes yeah. plus, and it was just like holy shit. 
Uh, luckily, I have a horrible grip, so I think I lasted about 14 seconds with it. But, <laughs> <laughs> but it was – some of these guys were just – some of these girls the, – the girls especially, they miscalculated the weights where they were going for, like, minutes at a time. And I remember sitting there. And, like, it got to a point, honestly, where – Sounds like my novice deadlift this year. Yeah. Well, we, we, we got to the point where I was sitting there, and I was like, let's just leave. Like, let's leave. I don't care anymore. Like, yeah. I, was, I, was, I was ahead on points, but it was close enough that the other guy could have come up. And I was like, he can have it. Like, I don't care anymore. Yeah. Like, I'm just over it. And then, to her credit, my my girlfriend at the time was like, "No, we're gonna stay and we're gonna finish this." Yeah. But then we, we didn't we didn't book a a, a, um, a hotel that night because I was like, "Well, shit! Like the latest we'll be out of there will be like three p.m. Yeah. It starts at eleven. Yeah. Like, well, I was like, "Why don't we just we'll just drive right home?" So then we drove home and we stop at we get to we get to the border at two a.m. And the guy's like, "Oh, what are you doing?" I was like, "Oh, I just had a strongman competition." And he was he was not buying that for yeah. one second. <laughs> He's like, "You're coming back at two a.m. from a strongman competition?" And I was yeah. like, "Yeah, they suck sometimes." Yeah. <laughs> We have a couple of questions to go through, too. Yeah, sure. Let's rock through some questions. Um, I don't know if you want to throw them up on the screen or. That's easier. Um, I'm just sitting there here? looking at pictures of us. <laughs> <laughs> what is the biggest mistake you made when trying to get bigger slash stronger? Well, I never got bigger and stronger, so that was obviously I made a big mistake. I think we kind of touched on it last episode, Tyler and I both said. Yeah, um, we, we touched on this a bit. Trying to do it too fast. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, and, and and that can mean a, a very a bunch of different things. Yeah, yeah. With the PDs, with the eating, with everything, too, I would, I too much, too fast. I wish that I'd waited longer for, for gear, the PDs. For gear. Yeah. I think I did too. I I'm sick. I did. I wish I wish I would have too. I and bad, I wish I would have done less. I had bad advice, not and not from anybody in the gym. I had bad advice from people outside of my gym who were uh, telling me what I should and shouldn't do, and it was not appropriate for someone my age. Yeah. And uh, that's one thing that I, I do wish that I could go back and change. But what do you do? Well, and that, that, that's, that's a big, yeah, I wish I did. Here we're talking just for, but I got, just got a prescription for growth hormone. Um, oh, yeah. And yeah. this kind of call correlates, but I don't know, I don't know the science too much on growth hormone as much because I didn't do a ton of it, but my levels are <laughs> low. <laughs> I didn't do a ton of it, but now I've got prescriptions for growth hormone, for testosterone, for a bunch of things I'm doing with the different, some different doctors, trying to balance out everything I've messed up in the last 15 years. Like Liver King. Yeah, me and Liver King. Yeah, well, he's natural. <laughs> yeah, I at least admitted it from day one. I've yeah, never lied about my drug use ever. Um, um, but I mean, I haven't even smoked dope. So I mean, I just went straight to needles. Right, yeah. I just jumped right to it. I don't play around, yeah. <laughs> I think, yeah, I think the biggest mistake for, I mean, it sounds like for all of us was just like, just trying to do too much too soon. Yeah. I, I, uh, we have two young kids that are they're just young kids, like 19, 20. It's young to me now. Yeah. 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 They, 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 they start coming to the gym. And he actually, he just, they, he just asked me a question that was very similar, which was like, what should he do if he wants, to, like, what's the best way for him to put on weight? And I was like, dude, you're 19 years old. Like, just give it some time and just keep eating. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, and I, and I, I, I finally got to kind of like impart some knowledge on somebody, which was like some lived knowledge for me, which is like, your window is so fucking much more open than you think it is. Yeah. yeah. Like I know you think that like there's only like you'll you'll be ten years in before you know it and you'll be but it's like you have so much time to play with things and see what's gonna work and stuff before you worry about that shit. Yeah. And it's, and uh or before you stress about it I should say. You yeah. know what I mean? Like but uh yeah just take your time with stuff. And the guy the, the person who's asking this, I know he's he's sort of in the he started late. Yeah. So that's sort of an interesting He started in the weight game late. Yeah. Like that's yeah, yeah. In the weight so trend, it's yeah. sort of it's, it's sort of an interesting twist on that one where it's you know, I guess you do have to hurry a little more than some people. Yeah. But at the same time, just be realistic and be aware of like what your body can handle. And there's what risks and all that in gaining yeah, too much weight yeah. too fast. Even just eating, there's risks involved. Yeah. He was a guy who get his, he had a coach before uh, his current one who told him like he got really fat and she's like, Oh, you gotta be, you gotta be big to do strong man. It's like, Okay. Yes, but you also want some muscle in there too. You yeah. know what I mean? Like you want you want to be you want to have some contractile tissue with well, all that. Well, that actually fat. goes right at what you're saying goes into one of our other questions. Okay, let's hit it. Do you need to be big to be? Uh, does heavier always mean stronger? Yes. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I, <laughs> just contradicts everything you just said 20 <laughs> seconds ago. No, you, you know what? I I think there's a threshold with that where the answer is yes. There is a 200 pound guy is not deadlifting a thousand pounds off the floor. Yeah. Not yet. Anyways, we're probably ten years away from that. I think we're ten years away from that. A two hundred pound guy. Some, some, dude, it'll, sorry, it'll conventional. Happen. Fuck those sumo guys. It, it'll happen, man. One of one of those. <laughs> one of the, one of those kids that I was telling you about. He he he's two hundred five and he just barely missed seven fifteen in my gym. That's three hundred. So three hundred pounds off and five pounds too heavy. He's twenty. He's twenty years old. <laughs> so, <laughs> sure. that, that's what I mean. It's coming. Get, talk like, to I'm you. gonna I'm gonna beat this. Is he sumo? Yeah. 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 Yes, sumo. Well, yeah. I mean, but um. It's like paying for your wife and saying that she she loves you. Is that, is that what it's like? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I was I like, don't know. <laughs> when when I was uh, competing at two forty two, um, looking at my numbers, 
and I, and I wanted to to hit certain numbers. I'm like, I got to compete at 275. Mm. And when I got into the 260s, I was heavier. I was fatter, like not in a good way. Yeah. And my numbers were the same. Mm -hmm. And I went back to 242. And then um, I was like, well, what if I lose a little bit more? And I started competing at the 220. And I lost a little bit, but I performed better in the 220s. Right. Then, like, so relatively, right. and that can go better. Can, and then my numbers went up when I maintained two twenty. And that can go into leverages too. Totally. Yeah. 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 I mean, the you know, it's one of those questions. Heavier does like, mean stronger. Yes. Are, ma if, mass if, moves mass. If, right. if you're a sloppy right. four hundred pounds and you only have two hundred pounds of lean body mass, yeah, you shouldn't be four hundred. If pounds. you're looking for a literal answer to that, no, of course not, because there's guys who are heavier than me that are not stronger than me. Yeah. And there's guys who are lighter than me that are stronger than me. Yeah. But that being said, if you do it. And like I said, with the caveat of like, it depends. But if you do it like the correct way, quote unquote, you will probably get stronger as you get heavier. But not everybody. Like this, the, the thing that you just said, that's, that doesn't occur. It doesn't, yeah. that's not everybody. But generally speaking, especially when we're talking about people who have just started lifting. It's also going to be height relative to a degree. Sure. If you're five foot eight. Yeah, you're, 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 yeah. And I know who's standing well, that you're question. You're the only one here who's that height. So. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Being five foot seven and a half. <laughs> Are we not the same height, Beaks? No. I'm taller than you. No. What do you, what do you, how tall are you? Taller than you. <laughs> I'm five foot nine and a quarter. I'm five eleven. That's what I am. <laughs> oh, that's what I said too. <laughs> yeah. Try to smoke in mirrors me. <laughs> Pull out your driver's license. Do you have a driver's license? No. <laughs> uh, I can't. No, but the, yeah. <laughs> you know, the government doesn't know I exist. Yeah. But the guy who's saying this, he's, he's a taller guy. Um, and yeah, competing at the 230 class, you're going to get so far. You will. Ballpark how tall he is? I want to say 6'3. Six yeah. four. So if and he's what? Two thirty. So him at two thirty and Tyler at the same height and over three hundred. Yeah. Mass a hundred percent matters. Yeah. And um but you, you just have to be strong for that mass to matter. You have to be strong in the first place. You can't be a sloppy yeah. three hundred. Yeah. The answer isn't to gain weight. The answer is to get stronger and then when you feel like you're not able to get any stronger, then you gain some weight. There yeah. you go. Perfectly. Yeah. You know. we, we took the longest way to get to the simple <laughs> Take you on the scenic route. That was a long good question though. Yeah, um, it is, yeah. It is a good question. Because a lot too, of guys think of that because you'll see fixated a lot of, on that shit. You'll see a lot of top straw men. They they win worlds or they get to the top and then suddenly they lean out a couple hood and try and try winning again and it they don't. It doesn't fly. It's like the guy who 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 claims to be one of the top strongmen in the world went vegan and now he's still one of the top strongmen, but I've never heard of never, him. Never seen a Yeah, anyway. besides this documentary that was dog shit, um, nothing happened. That would, yeah, that would be a good example of that. Is like you see the pro, like the pros when they drop, they try to drop weight and and compete differently. It doesn't usually work. It never yeah, turns out yeah. that way. No, yeah. no. That's one thing I don't get. Before we get to this, guys become successful and then change what they're doing, right? and then and then and then try attributing everything, all their success to this new lifestyle. I think a lot of them yeah. see an opportunity for uh, endorsements and sponsorships That's what and stuff. Like, yeah. I was, I was, at, you know, and like, I'm, oh, I'm sure he'll he'll hear this, but you know, like a guy like Eddie Hall, like he he really disappoints me uh, pretty much every time that I see him on any form of social media because he just went from like one of the coolest guys to just kind of one of the corniest guys on on, yeah. on social media. He's the Mark Bell of Strong yeah, Man. yeah. I would agree with that. Yeah, that's actually good to put it. Where he's, you know, all of his stuff online is pretty boring and then I, I remember there was one thing in specific that I saw where it was, a, it was a picture he posted where it was him it's that one that everyone's seen where he's just like huge Blow and he's at, he's at a I think it's a Giants Live or World's Strongest or whatever but he's just enormous yeah. and then he posted a picture of himself as a, a more current one where he's like I mean still gigantic but he's like probably 200 pounds lighter or whatever Yeah. and it was like hey look at what I took that helped me get this way and I was like right there I was like fuck this guy like yeah. fuck him forever because that's Completely dishonest. You were trying as hard as you possibly could to keep that kind of weight on. Yeah. yeah. And there's no way that you were taking this fucking supplement the moment that you finished World's Strongest Man, whatever the whatever the garbage thing that he was trying to sell. Yeah. And right there, I was just like, eh, this guy's done for me. Yeah, like, they, I don't, they, sell I really don't. they sell out. They sell out. They made yeah. it to the top. And then they sell out for I, I have no issue with you trying to get some money and trying to get yeah. your, like, whatever. There's no like, shame in that. No, but, but, like, just to blatantly lie to people like that yeah. was really disappointing to me. And I was just like, yeah, But that's like guy. you said. Guys, guys will get to the top and then change things and wonder why they can't stay at the top. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like, um, there's a guy like you look at like you know our our home hometown guy like JF like he's not a guy who's ever 
done something where I'm just like, oh, this is this is fucking kind of no. lame or weird or you know what I mean? Like he's just a he's just a fucking he's a cool guy, so he stays cool. You know yeah. what I mean? Like yeah. yeah, Brian Shaw too. All these guys that they just like they're they're about they're real. They're about what they are, and you don't they don't have to change or do anything. You yeah, know? yeah. Um, Stay real, Dave. This one is: Can you explain in more detail what deadlift for dreams is? We'll let Dave take the mic on this one. This is your yeah, brainchild. Yeah, yeah. This was your brainchild, wasn't it? Like, did you think of this whole thing, yeah. or did Dream Factor start, approach start, you? Start with the origin story. Yeah, of Deadlift for Dreams. Well, the, the Let's real really get into this one. Yeah, the real origin has to do um, actually bringing up Marshall again. I think I talked about him last show, or maybe I didn't. Maybe I was just talking to him. I don't know. Anyways, um, Relentless in Minnesota. Yes. Uh, so Relentless is a full powerlifting meet. Uh, I can't remember what charity they do it for, but and they started really small, correct? They started really small, yeah. um, relentless, and they were raising money for sick kids, and it was a full powerlifting meet. And um, then it grew, and then Minnesota got so big that Detroit started one, and then Detroit got so big that Texas started one. And um, was that Marshall's brainchild? Uh, relentless? No, it, it wasn't his. Oh, okay. um, but guys that that he trains with and buddies of his, yeah. and. Um, I wanted to, I wanted to compete in it. it. It's something that I, you know, feel strongly about, and and it's also powerlifting, so it's a win win. And the show is so popular that there's a waiting list to get in, mm. and I could never get in. So I kind of like started spinning the idea of like I'd like to do uh, my own one day. And then um, 2018, I think it was, I won uh, our Manitoba Heroes Award. And with that award, you get $2,000 to donate to either your charity or a charity of your choice. I didn't have my own charity. <laughs> I thought you were say either your charity or just keep it. Yeah. <laughs> so what, what did you do to win that award? Like, what were you a part of? Uh, it had to do with, like, the work that I was doing up north. Okay. Yeah. 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 Okay. And um, so I won the Our Manitoba Heroes thing, and they're like, yeah, you have this. So I contacted Dream Factory, and Dream Factory is... Uh, a foundation that's Manitoba based. All the money is raised in Manitoba and they help all Manitoba kids. Um, I contact them and I was like, Hey, you guys don't know me. Um, but I, I won this award and I'd, I'd like to, you know, give you guys this $2,000. And they're, they were so confused. Like, what? <laughs> and, uh, so Howard at the time who was the president and Andrew who was his right hand man, Andrew has since taken it over. Um, I met them for coffee and kind of explained what I just explained to you guys. And they're incredibly grateful. And I was like, while I have you guys here, tell me more about you. And they went into it. And I was like, this is perfect. I have an idea. And both of them were like, like we do dragon boat races. <laughs> like, yeah. um, we've never heard of anything like this. I'm like, well, it hasn't been done before. Not, not anywhere near here. So we, we, we had a few meetings about it, and uh, the first year, I guess I'll say what it is. Um, so uh, Deadlifts for Dreams is basically a fun day of deadlifting, mm. and the, the lifters who enter have to fundraise a minimum of $250, which virtually everyone hits, and yeah. a, a good chunk of the lifters completely eclipse it. Uh, Devin's always up there with a few grand. Curtis Martins is up there with a few grand. I'm uh, dogging Bob, it this year so far. Uh, we're all kind of... Uh, yeah, There's still start. so much time. Yeah, but we're already over $6,000 yeah. and mm -hmm. we're six months out. Mm -hmm. um, so that, that 250 is very easy to hit. And um, But the first year I was like, I don't know, like a $5,000 goal. And I'm like, I hope we hit it kind of thing. Mm -hmm. And uh, the first year we did 23000 and Dream Factory was like, what is this thing that we created? Meat, but a bunch of meatheads bringing in money. Um, we we're like, where was the first one? Uh, the first one was at Midtown Barbell in the back room, right? In the no, no, no. The in the the main gym. We shut oh, down it? the gym. Okay. Yeah. Um, like we were on CBC National. Yeah. Uh, it, it was it was crazy and, and kind of overwhelming, and uh, so I met with them. I'm like, I guess we're doing this again. Uh, so we're prepping for the the second year, and then COVID hit. So the second year with Apollo, we did all video submissions. And so people came in the back room, booked a time, came in, did their deadlift. That was when I was thinking of it. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. 
uh, recorded a message for Apollo, and then we put together like a nice little video for the family and, and presented it to them. And and then the third year that was twenty twenty then, yeah. No, the first because the, the video one was because of because because of COVID shit. Which yeah, was, yeah, yeah. Which was twenty twenty. Yeah, and then twenty twenty one. Yeah, yeah, 2020, 2021, uh, the, the third year was yep. the first year at, my place. At, at training grounds. Yeah. And again, we had to deal with social distancing, but we could have the lifters there. And Devin's spot worked perfectly because we could have the spectators outside. Right. Yeah. So we met all the criteria. Yeah. And then last year, things had really opened up, but it went so well at training grounds that we're like, let's make this the permanent home and we're going to look for more rural kids to help um, because it's, it turns it into a community thing and uh, went really well last year. Well, we year. did a girl it, from St. Malo. Yeah. And it was huge. A lot yeah. of the town got behind it. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and then Ethan, his family's from around there as well. Yeah. And uh, this like year's this Spencer's. Year's, yeah. This, this year's Spencer and they're, they're, they're from the city. Um, but I mean, it doesn't matter where they're from. No, like, people still get behind it. And, and it doesn't matter. Yep. It's really become its own thing. But ultimately, my the first year we had the the lights, we had judges, Ace Burpee MC'd it. People had to be in singlets. You had people in costumes. A, a couple costumes, yeah. yeah. Candace, yeah. Candace wore a, a Wonder Woman costume. Yep. Yeah. Um, and then we, we really loosened up on that. And like more novice lifters came in. And but it's formatted like powerlifting where you, you call your first number and the spotters and loaders load it up and then you get back in the queue and, and you wait and you do your second attempt. And, but you didn't have to like go give it to a judge or anything. Mm -hmm. uh, there's no more judging. It's, it's literally just like an old fashioned, all the lifters show up and deadlift, mm -hmm. but there's an audience. It was a glorified and, training session, which yeah. is what we all enjoyed. Yeah, and, and we have an MC, and we're, we're pumping music, and there's a barbecue, and the, the family's there, and, yeah. and if the kid is healthy enough, they're there. Uh, we've been lucky so far that every year um, they've been able to be there, which, which really means a lot to me. And um, Two years ago, she even deadlifted, too. We taught her how to yeah, deadlift. Yeah, yeah, yeah Jasmine cool. did the deadlift. Um, and then, actually, I, it has to do with Iron Age opening and, and what you're doing with Strongman. It was like, what if we open it up and try to get some Strongman lifters in to grow this thing? Mm. And last year, we tried the Axel deadlift. And even though it went okay, from a spectator point of view, it was like, they're doing the same thing. Just with different... No, no, with, no one with could with tell the difference. Bar. Yeah. And a couple of people were like, oh, I'll just do the regular bar, like save you guys some mm. of the hassle. So... Mm. Um, trying to think of, of, again, how we can grow it and what will pull people in. Yeah. Uh, it's like, let's do a truck deadlift. Mm -hmm. Like, it's a spectacle. Yeah. Like, people, everyone knows what it's like to try and, especially in, in Winnipeg, to move a vehicle out of the snow. And they know how heavy a vehicle is. And, and like we talked last week, 300 or 700, it's impressive to everyone. Mm -hmm. Like, you get to a certain point where the number doesn't matter. Mm -hmm. It's just more than they can fathom. Yeah. A truck, people know. They're like, that. that's a freaking truck. They know how hard it is, and they can appreciate uh, what it is. And we've got guys like uh, Gagan Deep is doing the truck truck deadlift this year mm -hmm. just because he's like, it's awesome. I just I just want to try it. Right. Yeah, he's never done it, has he? He's never done it. Yeah. And, um, yeah, so I, loosening up from my original plan of having, like, uh, at, having it look like an actual meet and turning it into, like, yeah, wear shorts wear your deadlifts for dream shirt and, mm. and hoot and holler and yep. people crowding the platform and screaming at each other and fourth and fifth attempts. If two guys are going next, more spectators come to that. Yeah. 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 Cause they, they feel they can relate to just an average guy and hold, hold shit. You can lift that. The crowd has grown. Yeah. Uh, well your nephew or cousin, my nephew, or at least my cousin, I guess. Yeah. We yeah call it's, him it's <laughs> The jokes write themselves here. <laughs> um, but, but Bosco was one of our highest fundraisers last year, and, and he did. And he's, I think he's top two right now in fundraising, yeah. right? Yeah, he's how old? Uh, he's 14 this year, so he's yeah. 13 last wow. year. Yeah, we have a, yeah. a seven-year-old doing it this year. Amazing. Come um, on. Spencer's mom is doing it this year. Um, you know, Devin brings the barbecue out, and, and everyone has food. Eggs Manitoba is there. Uh, we had face painting and yard games. I'm still pushing for a bouncy castle, <laughs> but... Uh, Anybody that lifts this, you have a bouncy castle or know somebody with a bouncy castle hookup? Yeah. Let it shoot me a message. Yeah. Yeah. I like it. 
And, um, but yeah, it's, uh, it's just a day that's all about, um, my, my goal for it outside of helping the, the kids is to actually show people how awesome kind of the iron community is. People see the beards and the tattoos and, and the way we walk and sometimes the way we talk and, you know, they're the guys you stay away from in the gym and you always hear horror stories and you're like, actually, we all have pretty fucking massive hearts mm. and yeah. and people get behind this thing. And I, I think my goal of, Some of, of putting us that, literally have massive hearts. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> literally. <laughs> we won't say why, but... Um, <laughs> And all the, all the lifters we've had have completely displayed that and and mm -hmm. kind of helped with my goal of, of putting that on display. Mm -hmm. um, that being said, as much credit as I get for it, uh, without particularly Andrew and Carly, um, but Devin and Curtis and Anna and um, all our fundraisers, uh, this year we have uh, a board um, Nikki, Curtis, Devin, Bob, Pam, Pam, Pam Bosco. Were, we lifted a few rocks and found where she was hiding. She's gonna come out of retirement. <laughs> yeah, still out lifting. Um, she gonna lift? It, sorry, is she gonna lift? Uh, I would bet ninety percent no, but <laughs> you know, damn we, right we still have six months. Oh, yeah. you damn right. What um, a bugger. But yeah, it's it's just an awesome awesome day. And uh, well, all the money raised. Asked that, yeah, all, all the money raised goes. To give this, not all the money raised, but because the, the, we're we're fundraising more than what the trip's worth already. Yeah. But it goes to give this kid who's, who's 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 dealing with something that we've never had to deal with, um, and we we take our lives for granted often. It goes to give him a dream trip wherever he wants to go, if I'm correct, and the family. If, if it's a trip, it, it's whatever they want. Or sorry, like, it gives him their dream. bedroom makeover. Oh, sure, sure, there yeah, there's been, been like video game makeover. Like, see, so yeah, um, it gives him his dream. Uh, yeah. Which 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 is the whole purpose behind it. Yeah. I, I have a daughter who's got a. a, a Shitty sure, father. Sh yeah, shitty father. <laughs> <laughs> My daughter's got got some got, got a disability. I should say whatever. It's she's got arthritis uh, and stuff like that. And watching a kid suffer through a disability of some sort, it, it it pulls your heartstrings. So to be able to give these kids something where, like I said, I take life for granted. We we do we do iron sports, right? We do we we've put things in our body that are stupid. And these kids are in worse shape than, than we'll ever probably be, and they're and they've never done this. They've just been dealt that hand. So to be able to do this and help these kids back and yeah. give them a day of complete utter bliss and happiness that's all dedicated to them is yeah I, yeah I i can get behind that anytime yeah yeah it's a very special a very special thing that's uh and the extra money goes to give other kids it, it goes, goes to towards uh, more, filling other dreams yeah because yeah. they take not only that kid like when they take a trip they take the kid and they take his whole family and pay for the whole thing so they can yeah. all do it together it's just hard it's hard to imagine that there was uh, a period without this when you when there's like that kind of money being raised where it's like yeah holy shit like people are so willing to to help something like this if it's just there if they know about it you yeah. know what i mean so well we had yeah. we had one guy last year who's his uh he's a friend of mine his mom passed away mm -hmm. and each kid in the inheritance got x amount of dollars that they had to donate to a charity of their choice oh, the wow. bible camp or something and he called me up and he's like i love what you guys are doing we're we're gonna put our inheritance towards Denver for dreams wow amazing. Yeah. 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 yeah so that was pretty cool that is sick that's why i probably won't reach my funders in this year because that was part <laughs> of my <laughs> <fundraising>. <laughs> But yeah. that was awesome, right? They, they they seen enough worth of their inheritance. They chose this was what they were going to put it towards. Right. Yeah. Yeah. So, so that's uh, that's deadlifts for dreams. And to what you said too about it being like a it, it, when you guys took away some of the uh, the starch, I guess of it. Yeah. And made it a little bit more accessible to people. That's like I've had guys who gone and done it. Uh, I guess last year who went and did it. They, it they've never. Well, Iron Age has been a huge supporter. Yeah, they've never really expressed like, an interest in competing per se. But Newman it's like, did it. Newman did it, and and like Luke's done it, and there's like buddies of mine from the gym who are just like, yeah, why not? Fuck it, I'll try it. You know yeah. what I mean? Because it's a, it's low commitment, it's low whatever, and it's, and it's fun. It's like yeah. they've, they've all really didn't really enjoyed it, and we've said it probably every episode. Like we're on episode twelve, I'm pretty sure we've said it every episode. But really, you should consider just signing up for it and giving it. If any part of you is like, maybe. Yeah. Just do it. Just fucking lift do it. Lift a token, like lift yeah. whatever. Yeah, yeah. And just and just show up and just hit it like you get free barbecue. Yeah, yeah. If, if if nothing else, you're just hanging out with a bunch of people that are having a good time yeah. and, and you're helping something else. Yeah. Or I actually help. got a text before we started. Uh, I think we're having pork buns donated this year. Wow, amazing! Pork buns, like buns with pork on them. Yeah, like, they, like, From they, who? like Asian style. Uh, I I haven't asked. I just said yes. Asian style? No, probably a pulled pork thing. Maybe. Pro yeah. I'm, I'm guessing like a, por a pulled, pulled pork. Pulled pork. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah I'll I'll clarify later. So I don't have to barbecue. Well, we'll. Get the details. I mean, more I'll start sewing the bouncy castle. 
Listen, if you want to get stronger, you got to put on weight. That's right. You got to start eating, Evan. <laughs> I clearly, we'll yeah. bring the leftovers for. Clearly, Rory. I've gotten a lot weaker lately. <laughs> what do you What do you weigh right now? I don't. Oh, man. You I do know. Weigh. I know you know. Yeah, I know. So. I, I, just, I weighed myself <laughs> last night. Don't say I don't know. I don't know. Like it was probably two forty two this morning. Oh boy, how many flurries this week? Not, dude. I have eaten perfectly clean since or Sunday. Blizzards. Me and the wife decided, you know what, we gotta get. I had, with, a, I had a blizzard on Sunday. Yeah, no. I, I With more, Morgan's Earth, I just fired back up again and stuff, and her eyes and her knee, like a bunch of... So we're like, the only thing we changed is kind of the eating went to shit. Eating. We're like, well, let's get rid of all the inflammatory foods. Let's try going back to what helped us last couple of years. Yeah. So, and and, and it'll help show her this is the nutrition you got to eat with the, with the, with what you're dealt in life. Yeah. So, yeah, I've been eating clean. I told the wife I want to get into better shape. Doing all the blood tests, like, with all the doctors I've been doing lately and trying to get everything back in order. I'm like, yeah, I guess I'm going to clean it up. So I'm going to do the whole lose weight thing, possibly, and then try to put strength maybe again. Maybe one day I'll be strong. No. Fuck you, Tyler. No, sorry. <laughs> what you, what you guys? I'm now. still going to out, out bench Tyler at 220. You probably will, yeah. <laughs> what? Uh, I haven't done jits in two weeks. So I thought I broke my toes quad in. So what, what did you deal. What did you weigh at Matt Toba's Strongest Man last year? Uh two fifty three, maybe. Okay, so it's more. not a huge like not a no. Huge I was drop, only eight like, ten pounds ever. Two, I was wow. two sixty five at my heaviest, but the Matt Toba's I was around two fifty five. I sat at that morning. Yeah, I know. It just compared to a lot of the big guys there, it just is that hard to keep for you? No, yeah, my butt. Not I have to eat dirty to stay there. My body likes to sit around two forty five. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, if I eat dirty, like as in dirty, like I crush a couple banana boats. Yeah, I actually ate that this like weekend. The, like the restaurant. Yeah, yeah so, well, because we started eating clean so, Monday, so Sunday we went just to the little, just took a little time. Yeah, we yeah, went yeah, to the, yeah, we, went, we went to the tattoo <laughs> show, and for Mother's Day took the wife out, uh, went to the restaurant with my brother and his wife and their son, and then they had never had banana boat. I'm like, what well, guys? So I brought them out to the old banana boat. Did Dan- did Danielle get a tattoo with the tattoo show? No. Did she go to the tattoo? Yeah, with you? yeah. She, I don't know if she'd ever. Get, she, I don't know if she got a tattoo. She just keeps she, saying she, she doesn't have one. No, oh, I never. I never really no, she was kind of always never liked them. Um, she wanted to get one with a friend. One was going to get a set of nuts, or balls in her finger. The other one was going to get a penis. And then when they stuck their fingers together, <laughs> beautiful, really. <laughs> yeah, what a, what a great first tattoo. Yeah. Be, yeah. <laughs> you wouldn't expect that from my wife, but you should get her to get like training grounds cross her throat or something like that. Tram cool. stamp. Yeah, yeah, training grounds yeah. tram stamp. Yeah. <laughs> That would be that would be phenomenal. That yeah. would be awesome. Yeah, if she does. I'll probably put something like Devin was here on her inner thigh or something. Maybe on her inner thigh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> when you miss and just start getting between the thighs. Maybe. Well, I, I keep getting dumb it's tattoos. Dark. <laughs> I keep getting dumb tattoos. I always said I'll probably get like two cherries leaking on my inner thigh one day, but we'll see. What does that mean? I don't know. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> I feel I feel like I'm almost at a not, I mean tattoos are such a boring conversation, but I feel like I'm almost at a point where I'm like kind of done with tattoos. Are you? Like, I, I, st- so. I still want to get one. My back's back. not finished, and that'll be the that's. So when I finish my back, after you finished your head, it's like okay, this is good. I feel like I've, done, I've done it all there is to do. When I finish my back, I, I I told Tyler I'm like I'm done, man. Yeah. Like I used to sit for seven hours. That's the thing is that like I, I keep tricking myself into thinking that I can handle it, and I'm just not good at it. Like yeah. I just I fucking hate it. I'm well, every time I'm under the gun, I regret it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. The like whole I, time it's happening. Like this is bullshit. And like Lacey does it for me, and she's like easy to talk to, and she makes it much more pleasant and stuff. And I still yeah. just I just don't like it. And I yeah. just like I started this back thing, so I got to fucking finish it. And that 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 was me. Yeah, I had the outline done, and I was like, can I live the rest of my life with just the outline? Because yeah. I don't want to get it shaded. Yeah. And that was like three sittings for that, and uh, I'm just we we're done. I'm like. That's no. probably it. I so it came up at the last um, board meeting for Deadlifts for Dreams, and someone was like, "Who's gonna be the first to get the Deadlifts for Dreams logo?" <laughs> and I'm like, "Probably, I'll, I'll, probably I'll, do, I'll do it if you do <laughs> yeah. it." Yeah, I'm probably going to. Where my left delt, I'm get like my torso is done. Oh, we know. Yeah, yeah. so <laughs> maybe my left delt, maybe my quad. Yeah. Uh, do you want one that small though? <laughs> get, it, get it on your <laughs> Get a little cute one on your ankle. <laughs> Two dolphins jumping on the logo. Yeah. Yeah. Get it on your foot. You get you'll get one if he gets one. If Deadlift Dreams, yeah, I love that. I love yeah. it. Yeah. Nice. I would yeah. do it. Cool. Yep. Why not? But, I'm sure we could get it convince a couple of the guys who we, we yeah, yeah, probably would. Bob be would hard. probably be a guy who'd do it too. Really? Yeah, he's got it. Yeah, he probably would, I think. Yeah. He's a he's a team player, that guy. What's the like so you you said you're pretty much done? Like it, as, aside from that, board, yeah. Yeah. I, I you never had like a weird spot you wanted to get like but like the, I the flirt with the, the idea I flirt with the idea of getting under my ass cheeks. <laughs> if you're gonna be dumb, you gotta be tough. <laughs> like one underneath. If you're gonna be yes. dumb on my left leg, you gotta be tough yeah, yeah. and like right under my ass. Uh, I just think it's it's dumb and funny enough, but 
people, whoever sees it, I like have to show it. I don't just walk around in public like that. Um, and I may or may not get that one. Yeah, well, but I, out, outside of that, like I don't want to get my legs done. I don't want like a full body suit. When I got mass tattoo, my wife clearly told me the best part of you is not ruined. Yeah. So. Really? She said yep, that's real? literally her words. Yep. Yeah. Well, at least she thought she I had a nice body. She thought you had a nice bum? Yeah. She wasn't like, I'm attracted to your eyes. <laughs> <laughs> Sparkling personality. Yeah. Or my great, your my eyes great. are like having a wife that wears wigs. <laughs> <laughs> you, you can just like look at one and you got one person and you, you find the other and you got another person. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, I, I still want a couple more just to finish up, but yeah. My mom still hasn't seen my head tattoo yet. Wow. Yeah. Well, she'll hear about it now. Well, she's. She I, mentioned it, I mentioned on the Madol. She does listen to these, but she must be way behind because yeah. I mentioned it on the podcast with McDowell. Yeah. She hasn't asked. She hasn't. What will happen is when she hears that, I'll walk in and she'll just pull my hat off my head and yeah. point at it and make a big scene. Well, she doesn't she ha- like but tattoos. She hasn't done that yet. Where were uh, you guys' first oh, tattoos? My first one was on my. Oh, I got this one on, on my Spades. wrist in my buddy's apartment. Nice. Yeah, he had a tattoo. Yeah, she, some, had, she had a tattoo gun. Sorry. Did your travel, parents? Travel shit. She me. wasn't thrilled. I was. I think I was seventeen when I got that one. Uh, which is why I got it at my buddy's apartment with the tattoo gun. Yeah, yeah she wasn't. Sense. She wasn't thrilled, but which actually isn't that bad. No, this no. Was, this was pretty tame. Have you had touch ups? No, no, never did. Like it stood the test of time, considering yeah. it was yeah, in yeah. And the person went on to actually do like she went on to do, actually do tattoo work. So she was really mortified that like I had this on me that like it looks like it looks terrible. Like the lines are all fucked up and stuff. Yeah. But she was like, "Please let me fix it." And I was like, "No, oh, fuck. What do I care now?" It's like yeah, I've had it for fifteen years already. Like yeah, um, and but she didn't she didn't love it. But she was whatever. She likes my brother's tattoos. Cause he has like nice ones. Like he has like a forest on his arm and stuff. And she's yeah. like, well, his at least look nice. Like yours look like shit and whatever. Yeah. So. <laughs> yeah. I had buddies doing tattoos years back and we were partying a bit and they would take razor blades and they would just cut the back and just put pen ink in there. And that's what they were doing. With oh razor blades. yeah. Prison style. Dude, it was ridiculous. Love that. It was ridiculous. <laughs> what was the first one you got? Uh, my first one, I hate saying this out loud. Uh, I was 18 living in BC and there's like an an ad from ESPN or the, an article from ESPN about like NFL players and legal problems, and the the cover page of it was like an old tattered football with a devil's hand coming oh, yeah. out of it. <laughs> mm-hmm. uh, so I got that, and then above it I got beaks, which uh, if anyone knew me for the last from my twelve to to my mid thirties, that's literally what everyone called me. Mm-hmm. And uh, yeah, yeah. anyone who knows me from that time still calls me that. And uh, it was just done poorly. Mm -hmm. So I had this kind of like crappy football. Where'd you get done? Like, yeah, right there. And I had this crappy football with like these red fingers coming out, but the the ink wasn't done well. Like it faded instantly. And then the nose of the football, everyone said, looked like a vagina. (laughs) And uh, I was just like, <laughs> it's you, you get a tattoo and you kind of think it's that cool. That's the really torn up. And then, yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, and then uh, I had a game in Calgary, and the fans were like, Calgary has the best fans to play against. Calgary and, and U of S has the best fans to play against. But the fans in Calgary were like, hey, twenty five. Nice grenade on your arm. <laughs> twenty five. You're gonna blow the stadium up. And I'm like. This, the day I'm done football, I'm getting this covered. <laughs> and uh, actually, so I went in and got the outline done for what I have for like my, my three or for my half sleeve. And uh, I went back for my follow up. The guy was a no show. I went back for, I rebooked. I went back again. And the owner of the shop was just like, okay, I gotta be honest with you, man. I'm like, what's up? He's like, he's got a drug problem. And we don't know when he's coming back. <laughs> and uh, so similar to yours, there was a buddy of mine had a friend who just got out of prison. Yeah. And he was doing, uh, he learned how to tattoo using the engine from uh, remote control cars. Wow. And he finished my, my really? house Really? Holy smokes. Yeah. That's yeah. crazy. Yeah. yeah. So it, was, it was actually like kind of sweet. It, it, it's fun having... Not the story behind your tattoo, yeah, yeah. but the story behind your tattoo. But behind the actual physical. Yeah, 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 yeah. And so I kind of like, it's it's not the best work. And considering Tyler did all my other work, it's, virtually all my other really work. good. And he's yeah. amazing. Yeah. Um, Who do you go to? Tyler Alderson at Kapala. Oh, okay. Yep. He's really talented. Yeah, yeah. Um, but I, I, part of me wants to shade it in and have it touched up, but part of me loves that story. Yeah, no, you should leave like, it alone. I'll just yeah, leave it. Sure. Yeah. yeah. 
My my buddy has like a a really crappy like the Thrasher like skate and destroy the inside of his bicep. Yeah. And he's like, well, he got it when he was like seventeen again. He's like, would I get it now? No, but I'm never gonna get it covered up. Like it's yeah. that's, that's where I was at that point, you know. Exactly. Yeah. When I, when I was wrestling and I had just got my stomach tattooed on, um, this is quite a while ago now. But I was I, <laughs> I, I was a good guy. So this was like somebody like, like cheering me on. He was like, uh, I, I just I remember I heard one voice in the crowd yell. Hey Tyler, just because your tattoo sucks doesn't mean that you do. Keep going, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, holy fuck! Like, thanks, man. Like, this is a very yeah. Winnipeg way of cheering you on. Yeah. It's funny for anyone that's listening that that hasn't known Tyler long. You were like a pretty boy wrestler. Mm-hmm. Like, yeah. you were a good guy, great body. Was your persona? Whole, like, was your persona a good? Like, the, the good guy? I flipped back and forth, but oh. I was like, even when I was a bad guy, it was because I was like. I'm fucking handsome and you're not type oh. thing, you know. What I yeah, mean? Oh. yeah. Uh, and it's funny, like the the man that you are now. <laughs> Have you watched him wrestling? I've never seen you wrestle. I've but, always like, wanted to come. You should get me tickets sometime. The last old, show me and Dion want to come. They're, they're the sold only, out. Not he'll buy some. You should get me some. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, I'll, I'll, yeah. I would pay for the tickets. The, the only place that I really wrestle right now is this one that's in the city. That's just it's like it's become the hottest fucking ticket in town. Where you sell it at the show? They sell them out. So they announce the tickets for the next show at the intermission of the current show, and they like for example, they we're doing one at Blue Note Park, which is speaking of times changed. Yeah, that's the thing outside there, and uh, they sold it out in under ten minutes. That's Two, incredible. Three, it was 300, 300 tickets in under ten minutes. Yeah, that's so, incredible. Yeah, it's amazing. And I've never I've never been a part of a wrestling thing that's like that's I, I wasn't I wasn't planning on wrestling anymore. Like yeah. I was pretty much done with it. I thought. And then they asked me to come back to this one, and we did one of the museum of all places. They did that Alloway Hall in the museum. It was 500 yeah. people there, and it was so fun that they were like, "Do you want to stick around for a little bit?" And I was like, "Yeah, I do actually." So yeah. uh, I'm not traveling the way that I was anymore, but I get to do that once in a while, which is really nice. But yeah. I will get you tickets at some point. I just got to wait till I can yeah. fucking get my hands on I'll, some. I'll pay for them. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I might even um, buy half of yours. We're at, we're nice. We got a rapper league on today, right? Or for this one? Yeah, yeah, yeah I got right. like ten minutes. Yeah. Okay. Well, let's call it there anyway. Yeah. So, <laughs> well, uh, um, do we have anything that we need to discuss? Like, comp- okay, so wait, 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 when is when is provincials? We were just talking about that. When's provincials? Yeah, provincials is Sunday, July thirtieth. We're waiting on the official uh, release from Brickhouse still, but I'm Sunday, sure they, July thirtieth. They won't mind us telling that it's yeah. it's Sunday, July thirtieth. I've confirmed it. Yeah. Uh, I don't. You, I don't have the event. Someone's asked about the events. I don't have the events. I don't know anything That's about up to that. Brickhouse. But if, if Brickhouse they, decides the events, yeah. Well, they'll run them past me. Like they'll decide and they'll. Because we don't want too many overlapping events. Yeah. yeah. But uh, like they they are putting on provincials. Yeah. Me and Devin are pretty hands off on that one. Do so they have implements? Yes. I usually bring stuff. Like I help them with it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Well, I help Paul with it. It's, help it's their show that we assist with as the okay. SCC reps or whatever. Yeah. Um. But they uh for anybody who's interested in doing that show and I stress this to the people who are at Brickhouse because I know a lot of people like to do Brickhouse shows who are. Like when they have them there, they like to sign up for them. You have to do a qualifier first. You cannot, yeah. Brickhouse show will not be able well, to be entered unless you've open. qualified. Yeah, and you have your SEC membership. So you gotta, gotta, yeah. gotta do Tolstoy two or Vita. Yep. Lots of chances. Yeah. Um. So with, with that in mind, we have uh, Tolstoy. Uh, it'll be by the time this comes out, it'll be this weekend. Nope, it'll be passed. It'll be passed. Yeah. Great Tolstoy. job, great job, everybody who did Tolstoy. Yeah. Um. On Canada Day, we had sorry Morris on June tenth. Yeah, that'll be the next one. That's we the have pro-am. the pro am. Anybody who's feeling ballsy, feel free to sign up for that one. We could use a, f- the, a few more guys. It's fun if that qualifies the amateurs for provincials. Because there's no weight class, so I don't think it would. Then I have to look into that a bit. Maybe the open guys. I don't know. Yeah. Um. But that show is going to be really fun. If if nothing else, like come and check it out. Like that's Dude, what, like it's going to be a fun show to watch. Never mind that. It's a, it's a truck and tractable. A couple thousand horsepower tractors. Yeah. Pulling. It's going to be a great whole yeah. day. It's going to be good. I meant the strongman show, but the other yeah. thing will be good too, yeah. though. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, they're, they're paying for us. So if, you're, yeah. if you're yes, it, but in all seriousness, do check out the whole thing because yeah. they've been really good to us and they're taking care of us and we want to have a nice synergistic relationship with them. Yeah. Um. And then following that, we have Canada Day. Vita. Yeah, July 1st. Vita Strongest, which is another qualifier. It should be a really, really fun show there. And, and the then, crowd there is huge. Yeah. The, yeah. It's, these, these small town shows are the best ones. Everyone knows yeah. that. Those are the ones Always. that are where the, the, the crowd just shows up to see what the hell's going on in town, right? right? Um, and then at the end of July is Provincials, and we'll, we'll call it there for, yeah. for what we get too much into today. But make sure that if you want to do Provincials and you want to do Nationals, you sign up for one of those shows, guys. We can't. like. There's nothing that me and Devin can do. You, there's no yeah. cajoling. There's no crying. That'll work. It'll just You have to do those and shows. Nationals is here this year. And you're going and you're, and to, when you step into that building at Nationals, you're going to be like, fuck, I wish that I was competing here because it's going to be awesome. Yeah. And I um, heard Deloli has to do our show before he competes this yep, year. Yep, that's absolutely yeah, true. Yeah, I'll will, sabotage him. I'll, ref yeah. I'll take his reps away. Yeah, yeah. we will. Yeah, we will. Yeah, I'll just tear up his SEC card or whatever. <laughs> yeah. And he'll, yeah, he won't be able yeah. to do it. Uh, does he have an SEC card and you don't have a pro card? 
What's that? Just kidding. Yeah, fuck <laughs> off. They, uh, <laughs> uh, okay, so that we'll leave it that for now. Um, Beakley Mobile, Deadlift for Dreams. Get signed up and register for Deadlift for Dreams, yep. especially if you're from my gym and listening to this. Talk to me, and we'll get we'll figure out how we how we have to do that. Um, I think it's pretty straightforward. Yep. Uh, training grounds: De- Devin Penner, Strong and Petty, Manitoba Strongman. Make sure you're following Manitoba Strongman for any information that you want about uh, competing or just like spectating or anything. If you want oh. any information on Strongman, this is that's the place. And we're to looking get to get some shirts made for Manitoba Strongman. Yes, yeah, yeah. Yep. We're gonna get we're gonna get some stuff for everybody who can who some can rep swag. the brand. Yep. Um, Chud Life, Iron Age, uh, Iron Age Strength, Beakley uh, Mobile, Beakley Mobile. Yeah, I said that. Yeah, one, the fucker. Uh, everybody, uh, take care of yourself and go fuck yourself at the same time.